How did you get your first job as a director slash filmmaker? How did I get my first job? Um, my first music video that I shot on Super 16 millimeter was for an uh, up and coming uh, local hip hop artist named Power Man. And making a long story short, I remember I met him at Roscoe's and me working on a lot of music videos, um, I was like, okay, I'm ready to direct. And I remember this was like 96, end of 96, that finally I started my company. No, I didn't start my company yet. I just started directing. I didn't start my company until 98. But from 96 to 98, I started, you know, getting the confidence to, you know, start my company and everything. But the first video that I directed on film was a... Uh, um, for an artist named Power Man MC. And it was a $12,000 budget, which at that time for me was a decent budget. And um, I shot a great video. I used my post-production uh, hookups that I had when I was working at Cinecide. So I was able to incorporate some green screen and some, you know, take my directing debut to, you know, the best level that I can with the resources and, and, and uh, the people that I knew that helped me kind of pull that video off. And I was on my way from from that video. I started directing one music video after the next, and um, yeah, being able to shoot on film and having things look professional. And and at that time, it was very hard to get uh, your hands on film unless you had a real budget, because you know you have to rent a film camera. You need someone that knows how to shoot film and change the film max. Like it was a whole different filmmaking process, and that's why I really feel good about my uh, journey because I came from actual filmmaking background. Uh, originating my first films on 35 millimeter uh, is, is way different from shooting on digital cameras. Now when you're shooting on film, you gotta get the film uh, you know, developed and then you gotta go through telecine and, and it takes way more skill to me to shoot something on 35 millimeter film and, the, and then to raise up a HD camera and press the auto settings and you know what I mean think that you're you know making a movie or whatever which is pretty much you know what's going on today these digital cameras are making everything as easy as possible to you know acquire an image and um, it just kind of takes the to me like the the filmmaking fun out of it when you know you don't need a light meter no more you know what I mean like back in the day shooting film you would measure the light measure the distance from the lens you know, to the uh, actor, and it's just different. But it's still at the end of the day, all people care about is end product. But as a filmmaker, I, I'm just glad that I came from, you know, actual filmmaking days and transitioned into the into the digital world, which makes me, I feel like an asset, you know, to a lot of different, you know, productions. When I come to the table, I'm able to, you know, be in, you know intelligent uh, across the whole board when it comes to making a movie on film or a movie on digital because some directors are still like Tarantino I think he's still shooting on 35 millimeter so you know people still have a love and respect for for a film but it, it's still you know it's still a dying situation that some of us is trying to keep alive. Do you remember your call time on that music video? What was that morning like? Like 8 a.m. It was 8 a.m. and I remember shooting uh, most of the video in my neighborhood because uh, I've lived in my neighborhood forever and everyone knew me at all the different, um, you know, small businesses and my parents uh, had a nice house on the corner and I knew a bunch of people with cars and stuff. So I pulled off a cool little hip hop video in like the neighborhood that came off, you know, came off nice for a rap artist. And I think we shot like 12 hours, like eight to eight or something like that. Um, which is, you know, standard filmmaking hours, 12 hour days. But it was exciting to shoot my first video on film, uh, on an Airy SR3 camera, crystal sync, 24 frames per second, you know, all that good stuff when you're on set, you know, you love that, you know, wow, I'm shooting my first actual film. It was dope.